France's participation at the Eurovision Song Contest has always been a given. France was one of the participating countries at the start of the contest in 1956 and have only missed two editions since. As obvious as France's participation is the presence of their language. French has always been around in the history of Eurovision. If we look through their own contributions, all acts have been in French, French mixed with English, or in one of France's minority languages. Corsican was used in Mama Corsica by Patrick Fiori in 1993. And in 2011, Amori Vasili took Corsican back to Eurovision with the song Sonu. Between these two acts, Dan Arbras et l'Héritage de Celt sang Divanit Bugal in Breton language in 1996. France has won Eurovision five times, and every time in French. The first time was in 1958, when André Claveau performed Dor mon amour. The most recent victory was in 1977, when Marie Miriam performed L'Oiseau et l'Enfant. French can be seen as the second language of the Eurovision Song Contest. Some hosts have mastered the task of speaking French, soit par téléphone, soit par SMS. while others Rien ne va plus. have had a bit of a struggle. À ma co the result of the French language at Eurovision has been that many Europeans have learned how to count in French. Un point, deux points, trois points, quatre points, cinq points, six points, sept points, huit points, dix points, all the way up to the famous 12 points. Et enfin 12 points pour la Grèce. Then we have the French chanson. That never goes out of style. Jusqu'à n'être plus rien. S'il faut le sauver, alors écoute-moi. Finally, we have the most recurring French participant, the Eiffel Tower. Oh, look, it's the Eiffel Tower. You are the best in me. Des amours naissent, des amours meurent Ce soir enfin je n'ai plus peur Je sais que je t'aimerai encore Quand la terre ne tournera plus Des amours naissent, des amours meurent Ce soir enfin je n'ai plus peur Je sais que je t'aimerai encore Quand 